Coach, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Guys doing okay? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what made just Notre Dame the right fit for you? Um, you know, it, it, it was it was kind of funny. I, I was I was definitely not looking to um, to go anywhere else. You know, I was uh, I, I really liked the direction of Coach Pry, and I really liked what we had going at Virginia Tech. It just there were, there were so many things that lined up, and um, kind of hard to explain. You know, and and um, and the more that I visited with my family about it. Um, the more confident I grew in knowing this know, was the right place. And then just with your initial meetings with the linemen, I guess what are a couple of takeaways that you've learned from them just oh, in the last couple of days? Uh, man, they're a close group. You know, they, uh, they care a ton about each other and they care a ton about Notre Dame. Um, I appreciate them. They're, they're, uh, they'll roll their sleeves up and they'll, they'll work their tails off. And, um, They'll pretty much do anything you ask them, so I'm, I'm appreciative of that group. You've been around many college football programs. What are the challenges of coming in and working with the new staff, new players? But what at the same at the same time, what excites you about? Um, actually, we had a staff meeting a few days ago, and Coach Freeman uh, used the word flexible as being one of the key components to uh, to being successful as an organization, and um, I couldn't agree more. Um, it's flexibility that makes it fun. It's guys being able to share ideas and share thoughts and then together finding the best way to do that, the best way for everyone. And, and I think when you have a cooperative approach that everyone is a little bit flexible but confident enough to share their ideas, um, you get the best chance to put the guys in the best position to make plays. And um, that's fun for everybody. When you got to Notre Dame, took a deep breath, and it hit you, what was that feeling? Um, it was pretty awesome. I think Sunday I was here and I was I was doing individual meetings with a, with a bunch of the O line and just uh, trying to steal some time back, hear their story and their experiences um, thus far in their in their career. And um, and I was I walked down to uh, the Basilica and went to Mass and it was it was walking through campus. All of it. It was yeah. It, it definitely it definitely gets you in a, in a really good way. Coach, how would you describe the like criteria of an offensive lineman that like you evaluate? What are some of the key traits you look for in one of your guys, maybe when you're recruiting one, um, and just in general? Um, I think the first things that always pop into my mind, like I, I learned a way back as a player, and it was shared to me by a, a former great coach here at Notre Dame, Barry Alvarez. He'd say, "Guys that love football," and he would say, "Guys that are tough and." Tough meaning, tough physically, but also tough mentally. Guys, guys that know how to do the right thing at the right time. Guys that can put priorities in order, and then um, guys that truly understand what Notre Dame would be all about. You know, I, I think I think those three things would weigh heavy on in in making that decision. Obviously, the film um, first attracts you and gets your attention, and then I think you're trying to find answers to those three questions. I think you recruited uh, Sam Pendleton a little bit at yeah. like Virginia Tech. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your guys' relationship like? What impressed you about him and kind of being able to reconnect with him here again? Yeah, there's actually quite a number of guys I got to know at some point during the recruiting process. Not everyone, but, but quite a number of them, which is, which is kind of neat to reconnect. But Sam, um, the first thing that came across was Sam was super conscientious. Um, he was a pleaser, whether it was school, whether it was how he worked out weightlifting, whether it was how he played the game. He wanted to do it in a way in which the people, he wanted to make the people around him excited and happy about the way that he did it. And, you know, the things that, that kind of knock your softs off is, is, is his consistent approach, his, uh, the way he can dedicate himself to it. And it was awesome to be around him and his parents and get to know their family a little bit. You could tell the structure that's there and why Sam is who he is. And then he wasn't in your position group last year, but Caleb Smith, you got to see, I guess, what does yes. he kind of bring to, to the offense? Well, Caleb probably uh, is one of the be best guys I've seen be uh, in one-on-one in -on -one situations, go up and make plays on the ball and contested catches and made a, made quite a few of those big plays for us uh, at Virginia Tech. And, and um, that's that stands out in a big way. Uh, on the field coming into this group, are there anything in particular uh, from this group coming in that particularly excites you moving forward or things that they did last year that you're excited to build on? 
Yeah, I mean, you're, you're playing a little bit of catch up. But the one thing is you're, as you're watching them, um, I, thought, I thought, one, you're coming in and, and, you know, these guys have been, you know, I, I got a lot of respect for, for Coach Easton. You know, he, he actually recruited me at one time and sat in my living room. Um, and, you know, I, I know um, his approach and, and I could feel the way these guys care about each other is because someone instilled that in them. And um, that's, that's probably one of the things that really stand out. Um, you know, I, I look at uh, Joe and Blake, and I, you see athleticism on the edges. That's that's uh, that could be quite unique, you know, and, and I think is quite unique. And those guys, uh, and then when they're as a group, you know, they're just they're one of the guys. They're leaders in that group, but they're one of the guys, and it's you know they're accountable to one another. And I think um, everyone feels that from from no matter if they're a returning starter or or there's someone trying to work their way into the two deep, like they have a mutual respect for one another. That's, that's pretty awesome to be around. Can we get one or two more now? It's awesome that you were recruited by Harry. That's yeah. amazing. Um, just what, have you had a chance now in your position to talk to him or to ask him questions or pick his brain or anything? Yeah, it was one of the first calls I, I had. I, I, called, I called Harry and I, I just, um, just reconnected, shared that story about you know, him sitting in my living room and he was funny. Um, but you could tell he had a lot of pride in the guys, and um, he was proud of the room, and as, as much who they were as as, uh, as anything. Um, so it was it was a cool chance to connect, and we'll stay connected. And just you talked about the closeness of this group and kind of play catch up at all, but um, the amount of talent that you've got. What are you seeing from the guys that are already here and these young guys that are coming? Yeah, I think that's what you said. There's guys that are, have, are established that are coming back, and then there's a few spots where, you know, who's going to step up and take those roles? And I think that's the fun about spring is that, you know, there's going to be great competition, and hopefully that drives that whole group to be better because each one of them is, is fighting their tails off. And in that journey to be the best they can, we become the best we can together. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.